Welcome to the Crypto Breakdown Cadena Whiteboard Mini Series. In this mini series, I'm going to help you understand every aspect about the Cadena blockchain from a first principle standpoint. In today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between proof of work and proof of stake blockchains. So, think of blockchains like a football game. In order to play the football game, both teams need to understand the rules of the game. If there were no rules, they could never play the game. Blockchains work the same way, but instead of using referees, they use what are called protocols. The protocol of the blockchain defines the set of rules that miners and validators must follow. For example, how many coins are released every time a block is mined or minted, how many coins will be released in the lifetime of the blockchain, how many transactions can fit inside a block, how fast are blocks mined or minted, and the list goes on. All of this information is mission critical. You never want someone or a small group of individuals to be able to change these rules. And this is why proof of work blockchains are so much safer and more secure than proof of stake blockchains. Proof of work blockchains remove the counterparty risk that proof of stake blockchains introduce into the game. So let me explain. In a proof of work blockchain like Cadena, the amount of coins that you own does not give you any voting power in the network. Proof of work blockchains use miners to secure the blockchain. These miners cost money, and the people who run these miners have to upgrade their expensive mining equipment every three to four years, or their equipment will be outdated and cost more in electricity to run than they make in profits. These miners also have to pay money out of their pocket every month to pay their electricity bills. And in return, they are rewarded with a percentage of Cadena for their upfront investment that they made to help secure the blockchain. Each miner can process so many transactions per second. This is referred to as the miner's hash power. In proof of work blockchains like Cadena, the amount of hash power that you control dictates your voting power in the network, not the amount of coins that you own. This also refers to the term coined by Bitcoin Maxi, Robert Breedlove, as the skin in the game theory. The more the network grows, the more people are willing to invest in mining equipment, the more decentralized the blockchain becomes. Now, unlike Bitcoin, because Cadena is a multi-core blockchain, this makes Cadena unique in the aspect that the miners have the ability to set up their own node and solo mine on the Cadena blockchain. What's even more mind-blowing is the fact that solo miners on the Cadena blockchain can be just as profitable as pool miners, but we'll cover that topic in another video. So unlike proof-of-work blockchains, in proof-of-stake blockchains, the amount of coins that you own dictates your voting power in the network. Now, I'm sure that you guys all remember Elon Musk attempting to take over Twitter. He went out into the open market. He bought 9% of Twitter shares. This gave him the majority control over the company. Combine that with his influence on social media, and it only took a few weeks before Elon was restoring banded Twitter accounts. He was changing the rules of how the business operated. And he did all of this because of the amount of shares that he owned dictated his voting power in the network. Proof of stake blockchains are literally the exact same way. The amount of coins that you own dictates your voting power in the network. Now, if that wasn't crazy enough, on top of that, big VC investors can also stake their coins and run what are called validators. These validators spend next to nothing on equipment. They spend next to nothing on electricity every month, but they are rewarded with a majority of coins every time a new block is minted. This almost guarantees that the original investors and the original team members always control the voting power in the network. This introduces major counterparty risk, and as time goes on, the network tends to become more and more centralized in nature. Now, this was just the tip of the iceberg in understanding what makes Cadena's blockchain so unique. In the next video, we're going to dive into Cadena's genius approach to scaling called hash braiding. Hash braiding allows Cadena to secure a thousand blockchains the same size as Bitcoin and use less electricity than it takes to secure one Bitcoin blockchain.